Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today is a very special, I know it's been a long awaited day. Um, my ex-husband and the father of my children is back from deployment. He's actually been back now for I think three weeks, maybe closer to four. Um, he did go home to Iowa first and um, the reason why he didn't come here is because obviously his oldest daughter is in Iowa, his family, girlfriend, everyone's up there. And um, he came down here and wanted to wait until he could pack the things that I left in my house and bring down here on a trailer. And it just made it, it made more sense this way. Um, but my daughter is six and she has no idea that he's back and that he's been back this whole time. He hasn't FaceTimed her because she would have noticed the background was like our house. So um, I sent her to school this morning. He's gonna be with me whenever we pick her up from school and she is going to be, I hope, excited. Um, I don't know if she'll cry or if she'll just be excited and happy. I feel like I'll be emotional because like I know that she's been waiting to see her dad for a year and she's been asking about him and I'm so excited. And then we're gonna get the twins after that. And I just can't wait to see how the twins react. I hope I'm in focus. I feel like I'm not in focus. But I don't know how the twins are gonna react. I think that um, Rafferty will be fine. I know that Winslet might have the most issue of all the kids because she doesn't like anybody. Like, let's be real, she's very, if she doesn't know you, she doesn't like you, and she gets really scared easily, and especially with males. Um, like, for instance, any of my friend's husbands, she's never taken to them, liked them. We have been with my parents now for almost a year, and she just let my dad start holding her like a month ago, and even now, she still doesn't really let him unless he's feeding her. So I don't know how well this is going to go, <laughs> but uh, it's going to be interesting and I'm really excited though for the kids to have him back. Um, so what's going to happen essentially is he will have them today until Sunday. Today is Tuesday and so him and his dad have come down and they will, he will have the kids until Sunday and I don't know what I'm going to do with myself. Uh, actually, yes, I do. Um, I need to start getting ready and then I'll tell you guys what I'm going to be doing this week because I'm actually a little bit excited about it. I hope this doesn't turn into like a get ready with me because that's not my intention. I'm just going to like slowly get ready while I'm talking to you guys um, because let's do some updates. He's literally, I think, about an hour and a half away and we're going to get some stuff unloaded before um, going to get her. I am going to arrange to pick her up a little bit before school gets out so that way it's not um, just her like seeing him in the car. Um, but yeah, I'm going to try to figure it out quickly. I did send her to school this morning in um, uh, like a the deployment shirt that I got her that said daddy's my hero. Um, and I just told her it's because Veterans Day is tomorrow, so she doesn't think anything's going on with that. Thank gosh. But, um, because Brian will have the kids from today until Sunday, um, I'm actually not going to be staying at home. Um, my clinical this week is online, and I don't have to be stationary. So, I'm going to be going up to North Carolina. It's a five hour drive from here, but I am going, let me wet this sponge. You guys, this sponge, I know it's huge. Um, like the other, the normal beauty blender is this size. <laughs> Look how big, but this thing, it spreads makeup so fast and I love it. I'll link it down below. I think it's like $5 for this thing, but y'all it's worth it. <laughs> it's huge though. So just, don't mind me when I'm putting this big sponge on my face. But um, I am going to North Carolina and I do want to vlog while I'm there because, um, well, for one, it's my first time being kid free since um, their birth, like the birth of them. Um, so it's going to be weird for me to not be with them. But I know they'll be enjoying this time, like building the relationship up with their dad, especially the twins, because they don't. I don't know that they're going to remember him, even though they FaceTime. 
but I'm going to North Carolina with the person that I've been dating since July and um, Brian is planning on meeting him tonight. I probably won't film that because <laughs> I don't I don't want it to be uncomfortable. They've actually talked on FaceTime and stuff like that. Like they actually like somewhat kind of know each other at this point because we've FaceTimed and then they start talking about guy stuff. And it's fine. So um <laughs> I'm just gonna let them like meet in person and then um that way it just kind of worked out that Brian was here and yeah, so that is going really well, obviously. We, I don't know about putting him on camera, though, for the vlog. Maybe I will, and then I'll just save it to post at a later time whenever I'm ready for that. I just don't want to jump the gun, even though it's been, you know, several months at this point. I went back and forth about going on this trip. Um, I'm going to bring all my study stuff with me, but I don't know. I just feel like when you go on a trip with someone that you're dating, like, by yourselves... I don't know. I just feel like I went back and forth on this and I, a week ago I just said I wasn't going to go. I just I was kind of like, never mind. But then I'm kind of like, why not? Because I don't get time that it's just my time, you know? So I'm going to do it. I'm scared. <laughs> I don't know why I'm so scared. Um, I'm sure it'll be a blast. But, but that is how today is going to go. Um, hopefully everything goes smoothly. We're just going to unload the trailer and then once we get that all unloaded, we will go get um, Aniston from school and then go get the twins. And I just can't wait to see their reaction and let you guys see the reaction. Because at this point, I don't know what they're going to be yet. It's like I have an idea in my mind. But it'll be interesting to see what Aniston does when she sees her dad. I know that she's going to be so excited. <laughs> Are you excited? Okay, well the makeup I did this morning was for nothing because I've already cried most of it off. <laughs> um, it's an emotional day because I'm so excited for Anison to see her dad and we're about to drive to the school right now for her to see him. And I'm, so, I'm already like, cause I know she's gonna be so happy. <sighs> Here we go. Look out, here she comes The woman that I love It's too bad she'll never know Yeah, I can't tell her how I feel Because she has someone who makes her happy I'm a ghost in these walls What are you doing? Yeah, cool. You were? on your shirt. That's why I had to wear that shirt today. But she will never know that I love her so much. She's with somebody Hi. else who so will have to let Hi. her go. Come here. She will never know. Na, na. Come here. Who is that? Who is that? Who is that? Who is that? Do you know? It's like she stole my heart. Who is that? With 
Raper, who is that? Is that daddy? But I guess that it will pass. <laughs> yeah, I can't be the only one who got lost uh -oh. inside. <laughs> she said that to her baby. It's okay. You know daddy? Hey guys, um, I wanted to update. It's the next day, and right now I'm actually in North Carolina. Um, I forget how much I told you guys about this road trip and coming here, but I wanted to tell you guys basically how the kids reacted yesterday. You, you guys did see the video. Um, both of the twins were really hesitant, I, which I expected that because while they did see their dad a lot on FaceTime, it was just, it's not the same whenever he's physically present. Uh, Winslet just did not want to go to him. He reached out for her a few times and she was just not going to have it. Rafe did go to him. However, he still kept trying to come to me and we just kept telling him that it was fine. And uh, Brian took both of them and he's had both of them and Aniston, so all three of them. Um, and he'll have them until Sunday. I FaceTimed twice already and both times I started to get a little upset just because Winslet's the one I'm most worried about. She is just, she doesn't seem like she's having a good time. She just seems like she's very scared and very lost. And I try to prepare myself for that, but it's different whenever I see her on FaceTime and she just doesn't look the same to me. She looks like she's scared and uh, my arm's getting tired. <laughs> but um, I'm hoping that Aniston being there is helping her. I know it doesn't help her, for her to see me on FaceTime and start crying, so that's why I'm trying to not FaceTime now um, because I don't want to make her upset. But then again, I miss them and I want to make sure everything's going fine. But so far, so good. They're doing really well. Um, it's definitely a change for me. Um, I did come to North Carolina and we're going to be here until Sunday and today's Thursday. So I had a clinical this morning. We had to do a virtual clinical this week, which is why I was able to come up here. And guys, it's so pretty here. Whenever we um, first drove up and I was looking outside, it looks like the scene of a Hallmark movie. Like, no lie, I'm going to show you the front yard. There's obviously a screen on the window, but this is the front yard. That's a lake right over there. It just looks like Hallmark. And I've never been to a place as pretty as this. Like, honestly, the outside is so pretty. And there's, if you look up the mountains, there's houses, like, set all in the mountains, which is so, it's so cool to me to see the houses up there. Not that I think I'd ever want a house, like, up on a mountaintop. I just kind of feel like I would have anxiety about it. But it's really pretty to look at. Um, we're going to do um, a few things while we're here. Again, I'm just trying to, I thought it would be fun to get away because, my, for one, I always have the kids like 24-7 and school and work, but I thought it would help coming away on a short trip just to keep my mind off the fact that my kids aren't with me at this moment. <laughs> so, um, uh, so far I'm enjoying it. We've only been here for a day. We got here yesterday around um, like 2 in the afternoon and it was a little rainy, so today it's actually cleared so I can see a lot more and it's so beautiful. Um, I did come here with the person that I am currently dating. We've been dating since July and I'm just not gonna have him on here yet, but um, so far so good obviously. But I just wanted to give that update for you guys. I will see you guys next time in another video. I'll update once they're back with me. Um, I miss you guys as always and I'll see you next time. Bye.